you're looking for adventure, you want to unwind, pick up a good story, get out of that old grind and read a book. Read, 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 read a book, read, read, read a book. Read, read, read. Oh, hello everyone. Cody O'Bear here. Oh, I just love that song. <laughs> well, I am your greeting ambassador, and I want to welcome you back to Storytime, brought to you by the Georgetown Public Library in Georgetown, Delaware. Now, as always, on Storytime, I introduce books and readers from all over that love to read to children just like you. Now, today, my pal, Mr. Paulson, will be reading the book, The Forever Tree. This is a story about a tree that grew from something more than just water and sunshine. What do you think it was? Hmm. Well, let's relax and open our ears and listen to the story and find out. And now... The Forever Tree Written by Teresa Surratt and Donna Lucas Illustrated by Nicola Slater This is a true story about a tree that grew from something more than water and sunshine. It grew from love. The animals knew the tree was very special, which is why they held all their sleepovers, weddings, and championship bingo tournaments inside. They fed the tree with laughter, singing, and dancing. And from its deepest roots to its highest branches, that's how the tree grew strong and tall and proud. The raccoons were in charge of keeping the tree neat and tidy. They carefully cleaned it every day with gentle paws. The squirrels stocked the tree with books and games and colorful party supplies. The chipmunks adored the tree, too. But they were often distracted by the shapes of clouds and thoughts of chestnuts. So none of their chores ever really got done. For years, the animals had the tree all to themselves. So very many surprise birthday parties, first kisses, and secret squirrel social scout meetings happened there. One day, an unexpected visitor arrived. A grandfather. He was a strong and tall and proud man. He knew the tree was special, too. He threw a rope up and over its sturdiest limb. His hands worked quickly and with love. The next morning... A little girl named Charlie came out to play. She saw the swing her grandfather had made just for her. Thank you, grandfather, said Charlie. Push me, push me, please. The raccoons, squirrels, and chipmunks all stopped what they were doing. People had never noticed their special tree before. And from the grandfather's act of love, something new and beautiful began to grow. Every day, Charlie's grandfather pushed her on the swing. Soon more children came. They brought their mothers, fathers, grandmothers, and grandfathers. They pumped their legs and voices up to the sky. At first, the animals were worried, maybe even a little annoyed. This was their special tree. They weren't quite sure they wanted to share it. The raccoons began plotting a revolution underground. The squirrels argued for animal and people togetherness. The chipmunks were not much of a help at all because they were still gazing at the clouds. But the people turned out to be good neighbors. They were kind to the animals and their beloved tree. They shared their most delicious snacks. The raccoons advised the animals, Be nice and don't bite. The swinging went on for many days, for months and years. There were more graduation picnics, polka parties, and hide-and-seek contests than you could count on all your paws. There was always love 
and laughter. Anna kept the tree growing strong, tall, and proud. But one spring after a long, hard winter, the tree did not wake up with budding leaves. The tree did not wake up at all. That spring, Grandfather did not return either. Oh, how Charlie and the raccoons, squirrels, and chipmunks cried. Then official people came and said the tree was now unsafe. The animals didn't know what this meant. They felt afraid. The raccoons organized an emergency meeting. They had heard of people who knew how to fix things. People who knew how to use their hearts and brains and hands to make things that last forever. Special people who believe that something beautiful is always worth saving. The animals began their search. The raccoons identified architects by poking inside the recycling bins. The squirrels found carpenters by following the scent of wood. They whispered in their sleeping ears. The chipmunks lured artists with trails of chestnuts and wild red berries arranged in impossibly intricate swirls. Planners and builders of all kinds were found. Together they came up with an idea to save the tree. They thought, sketched, and measured. They sawed and scurried and sanded. Day and night they worked quickly, skillfully, and with love. When the treehouse was built, the people and animals agreed it was the perfect place to hold their most special weddings, sleepovers, and championship bingo tournaments. They promised each other that their tree would stand forever, strong and tall and proud. The swing would always hang from its sturdiest limb. And somewhere, way, way up above, the grandfather looked down and smiled. Well, thank you, Mr. Paulson, for that great reading. Well, I would say the tree grew from love, wouldn't you? Now, wasn't it amazing how the animals and people came together for the tree? They knew the trunk was the best place to host bingo tournaments, and the branches were perfect for swinging in the shade. And what about that awesome tree house? Wow, I think I would love to have a tree house myself. Hmm. I wonder where I could build it. <laughs> well, how about you? Would you love a tree house? <laughs> I think we all would love to have a tree house. Okay, everyone, I want to thank you for joining me for story time today. And please stop by and visit with me again. Also, remember to visit your local library for fun reading adventures. Until next time. Happy reading! If you're looking for adventure, you want to unwind, pick up a good story, get out of that old grind and read a book. Read, 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 read a book. Read a book. Read, 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 read a book. If fun is what you're after, you're looking for laughter. Read